All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the iX Tech microphone boom arm today. I am going to go ahead and preference this video before we get started fully is that my son is getting sick or something like that. We've been doing early development care. My wife's been taking them to places or wherever, but unfortunately, a lot of parents around this time are letting their kids come out the house sick and go to these spots. And my son might have picked up something. I'm not entirely sure what it is yet. So I do apologize if in the future or the near future, I am not able to stream or do product reviews because I have become sick. Because when I get sick, it's like I've caught the plague or something like that and I stay sick for a long time. But usually I don't get sick that often. That's just how my body works. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't happen. And hopefully my son can make a speedy recovery. But if you do hear him coming into the microphone or whatever, my wife is watching him. We're giving him medicine and stuff like that. We're watching and seeing because he's so young, we don't know what we could really do, even if we go to the doctors or something like that. And usually they don't want kids to go to the doctors and stuff like that, or people who are sick because of the whole COVID stuff. Because the institutions that we have here, they are very, very, I would say, conscious about wearing masks and not letting sick people in and stuff like that. So we'll just have to see how all that stuff goes. But back to the IX Tech stuff, um, I do want to go ahead and say I did a roundup about low profile boom arms. And I know in that video, when Miano sent out their ones, it was a carbon copy of the IX Tech one. And I found out that it's a carbon copy of the Beacon low profile boom arms. But when it comes to white low profile boom arms, there's not really that many options out there. So future editing squid here, I wanted to go ahead and say I am looking at some uh, low profile boom arms because I'm fact checking myself after I already recorded a video and stuff to make sure that there wasn't any, I would say, white low profile boom arms that could be in comparison to the IX Tech one or whatever for possibly cheaper than $64 right now on Amazon, like I did in the low profile boom arm roundup when I compared the IX Tech one to the Mayana one and found that it was the same one as Beacon or wherever. Um, and from what I'm seeing, the IX Tech one, again, is coming in around $64, at least at the time of recording. The Fine Fine one is coming in at $43, but again, it has these white uh, and black aesthetics you can see right here on this joint right here for this one and you can see the ball joint at the top as well as the little knob the tension knob or wherever all those are black that's the same thing that's happened with fine fine but it looks like fine fine has updated their microphone since they uh, microphone boom arm since they released the pink one i'm looking at or wherever so i have an outdated model and the model looks like this part right here the black little tightening thing and the ball joint has been turned to white and that's something that i complained about when i did the view or whatever and that was like a year ago or something so it looks like Fi fine fine has taken my feedback and applied it to it but unfortunately this connector part right here at the joints or wherever to connect both of them that is still black so unless you can find like a sticker to put over it or you can paint it black uh white or whatever or something like that um you're not going to get a true white like all white microphone boom arm so you might not take it to that extent as far as wanting a all white microphone boom arm. But again, we're talking about aesthetic choices here. And if you wanted to, you know, just have an all white one, then the IX Tech, I think you can't go wrong with it just because aesthetics are very important. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to somebody's setup, like even with this beacon microphone or wherever, it might look good on camera, but some people don't want, you know, this black wind muff. So you could probably replace it with a gray one. And it's going to be somewhat of a neutral color and match your aesthetic a little bit more that's why white and gray is more preferable in my personal opinion than white and black just because people again are going to want something that's aesthetically pleasing i keep on harping on it but it's just the truth you know what i'm saying for those who don't really care it's not going to hurt you if it was if it was the way i wanted it you know what i'm saying and, and if anything more people would buy it if it was the way i was suggesting that it was and i'm glad ix tech you know what i'm saying felt follow through wherever with the white version uh, being that way. And I'm glad Fine Fine is making the steps in the right direction. They just, again, need to clear up this little joint down here and make it white. Maybe there's a reason why they don't. I don't know. But yeah, that's just my thoughts and opinions. This video is a little bit too long to talk about a low profile boom arm, but there you go. There's there's that little research information that I found, even when this is a copy of their black one and the copy of the Beacon and Mayana ones and stuff like that. When it comes to the white variant of their microphone boom arms, there's not too many ones that are out there like this. That's actually all white. And what I mean by that, even though I am a fan of the Fine Fine BM88, 
I did say even in that video that if you're going to have an all white accessory and you're trying to have your setup all white and stuff like that, at least mix some gray in there. And you can see on this connector right here at the front of the microphone, it's actually silver. So technically it's not all, all white, but it's close enough and it's going to fit into your color scheme if you're looking for an all white accessory. And that's very important to me. And that's what I've been harping about on this channel. When you're trying to color coordinate your setup, especially nowadays, especially after COVID and stuff like that, people are getting into more, I would say decorative and more color combo and coordinated and like some people want that sterile look or whatever with all white. Some people want the white and black and stuff. So it just depends on what you want for your setup. But like I said before, with those low profile boom arms that are really like this, they're decent. They're nice in quality. I still think in my personal opinion, no microphone boom arm should be over 60 bucks. But for this low profile boom arm, I think that they improved it a little bit. I don't know if it's from the manufacturing or whatever, but there is now a click in the channel wherever when you put the cable through and if people want to know this white xlr cable because it's hard to find one that's actually just white even at the connection point to your microphone so i'll leave it linked in the description and if the cable that i have wherever is too long or too short for you you can look up the same name or wherever or the same manufacturer they have separate listings instead of having one and you just pick the length for whatever reason but i'll leave it linked in the description just for you if you're looking to pull off something similar to this but what i will go ahead and say again is that the cable channel underneath does have a click it's not as similar to the fine fine bm88 where it's a loud click but it's a noticeable click and a noticeable upgrade to what I had noticed with the Mayano one, IX Tech one, those ones or wherever, when you actually clicked it or closed the channel, wherever it didn't feel click, it didn't feel sturdy. And I was saying that you could snag your XLR cable and the bottom would pop off. That's not happening here. And I think that was just a manufacturing issue, maybe on the older models or something like that. And they have went back and remedied this because maybe people have talked about it enough. I have not confirmed this with IX Tech. But I can, again, contest because I have the Mayano and the IX Tech black ones, and they are pretty much the same one as this. It's just that this is white. Those are black. I would recommend, you know, if you were hesitant or something like that, and you still want that look or wherever, you can go with this one. But again, the black version, like I mentioned in that low profile boom arm uh, showdown video, there is a variant out there that's 50 bucks from Vivio, Vivo, whatever you want to call it. But like I said, when it comes to white variants, there's not many out there. The only other one that I know is that is the same exact one like this and what is the Beacon one. And that one's like 120 bucks or something like that. 112, something, something around there. And that is ridiculous for a low profile boom arm. That's literally just going to hold your microphone. What I like about this one, though, is that it still comes with the sit stand desk riser. You can take it off. You can use it if you want to or not use it and just save it for later. Or maybe if you get a sit stand desk, the base, you know, what I'm saying it's metal. It clamps to the side of the desk is perfectly fine. There's no problems with 316 this thing or wherever. It's smooth transition or wherever as far as all that goes. Super simple to set up and everything, of course. And I will say I'm not seeing any black marks or anything like that. No scuffs, no imperfections at least i visually i can see but i will note that white accessories always attract dust and dirt and all that stuff so you're gonna have to clean it just just anything really white but this would be easier to clean than the fine fine bm88 because even in that review of it i did say that it's going to be harder to clean because how they painted it white whereas this one is just kind of i don't know how to say it but it's it's an easier i would say job wherever to clean this than it would be the bm88 and i want to go ahead and say that they just released a white version of their low profile boom arm again that comes with rgb hopefully in the future i can take a look at it because that's the one i will put over at my streaming desk and i will continue to use this one over here at my youtube studio desk because it looks really nice it looks really clean it's going to look really pleasing for your youtube studio your podcast whatever if you were looking for a white one and again You'll know the price or wherever I would have put it on screen already, but I think it's decent for it being white. One of the few ones that are going to be, you know, all white and available wherever for a low profile boom arm. The cable channels on it is deeper than I would say the fine fine or wider than the fine fine BM88, even though the BM88 is coming in at a cheaper price. 
it's still black and white instead of actually white same thing when it comes to the elgato microphone boom arms i know they just released the gasket one or wherever that's like 180 dollars. that's actually ridiculous to me and when this one is coming in under a hundred dollars i don't know maybe it's just me and my taste and what i think and i'm just not uh relatable to the market because these microphone boom arms are expensive for what they do and that's just hold your microphone for being able to get an all white one i will give this a pass to be as expensive as it is this one is not like their pro low profile boom arm that came in black because at least that one had a headphone hanger this one does not have a headphone hanger and i didn't find anywhere doing my research and stuff like that one that was all white like this that had the attached headphone hanger like the ix tech black one the pro lizard one or whatever they have so if you needed that extra headphone hanger you're gonna have to get that accessor a separate accessory but overall like i said i really do like the the white aesthetic or whatever it's really nice i think the paint job on this one is a little bit better so feature edging squid here i wanted to go ahead and say that i have packed up the old black versions of the microphone and the microphone boom arm it's already ready in a box to go to the post office and off to a friend of mine who's in desperate need of equipment upgrade for his live stream he's been picking up equipment but i'm gonna bless him with an audio setup so i'm sending a couple goodies to him and again i'm gonna bless him so thank you ix tech for sending out this new equipment because now i can get rid of some old equipment and just bless people who are in desperate need of it so I will go ahead and say that the white variant of the microphone boom arm as well as the microphone were made after the black variants were already on the market so i imagine they took the feedback on the microphone boom arm and changed up how they do the microphone boom arm so that's why it's a better improvement over the black one so when i reference the black one and stuff i'm talking about the older variant um so for those who are not probably putting two and two together so i will go ahead and step on a, a, a limb of faith here because i have no confirmation but i would imagine if the white variant has the new updated way of cable management and stuff like that i would go on a limb and say the black ones have been updated so keep that in mind as well all right back to past squid this finish however is a little bit more refined and that's why i think they updated the manufacturing of this because it the not only the actual sheen on it but the actual cable channels like i said with that clicking or wherever a little bit easier to put the cable in or wherever having a little bit wider so if you needed a thicker xlr cable or you're running multiple cables into it for whatever reason and like i said in my personal opinion i like the look of this one in person over the bm88 and if they send me the rgb one of course i'll do a review of that and honestly i will hook it up over here on my on my actual streaming desk because not only does it have rgb it's going to look similar based off the pictures or wherever to this and i like the way this one looks and this will be the one that i would recommend now you do have the tension points or wherever on the side you have you can see right here there's a little rod or wherever to lift it up and down and you have the ball joint or wherever to lift it up and down so you're still going to have to um you know set your tension or wherever and move it up and down once you do that or wherever you're pretty good a lot of people like the gasket because it's effortless or wherever but me it takes like two seconds to do it and paying 180 dollars yes you can mismatch the colors with the elgato one all that stuff but it's not really necessary it's more of a you're paying for more of a luxury tax or whatever for that and even then like there's one from newer but it doesn't come in white but it's like 75 bucks 70 bucks or something like that maybe 80 if that the fine fine bm88 feels a little bit cheaper than this one as far as the feel of it and everything like that and you can tell it is a cheaper one but at the end of the day it's gonna get your job it's gonna get the job done but if aesthetics are more important to you then just know you're gonna have to pay a little bit more for it to do the same thing just hold your microphone but at the end of the day you're gonna be happy with your purchase on this i just unfortunately like i said there's no other white ones that are like this model that are cheaper than this one from my research at least at the time of recording with that being said thank you so much ix tech for sending this out hopefully again i can look at the rgb one in the future i really really hope so because uh that thing looks really really cool and with that being said if you're new to the channel and you just want to subscribe you can hit that subscribe button hit that like button that lets me know that you enjoyed this video if you found it informational then leave a comment down below hopefully i covered everything that you were possibly interested in when it comes to a microphone boom arm I don't really know how to do these videos too much um so just leave, leave some um 
I would say some tips if you want, or something I could have done better in this video in the comments as well. If you want to talk to me live or wherever, there's a live stream link down in the description. Yesterday, we went ahead and swapped out the keycaps and the switches on the Amazon's best rapid trigger keyboard as far as a luxury premium feeling keyboard or whatever. And I did a review on that. So if anybody's waiting for that update, it's actually sitting on my desk over there. And I'm going to be doing some testing through Call of Duty Apex and stuff like that. I did a little bit of it last night. Again, look forward to that updated review in the near future. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.